Good morning and welcome to Inside South Florida. I'm Dave Azer. On today's show, a local neurosurgeon has great advice on how to keep your mind and body strong. Plus, 2Js is doing some incredible work with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And we've got some tips on how to help you stay connected in the event of a hurricane. That and more as Inside South Florida starts right now. Keeping fit is way more than just lifting some weight. It's a complete mind and body commitment. And here to give you some great advice on how to do all of that is Dr. Brett Osborne, a South Florida neurosurgeon. Dr. Osborne, thank you so much for coming on the show. My pleasure. It's nice to finally meet you in person. You know, you've been my body double for so many years. My ab double, so now I get to meet you. How you doing? Doing great. Yourself? <laughs> uh, I'm doing awesome. I'm, I'm actually really excited about this um, because I think this is, you know, just looking at, at your book, there's a lot of really great content. So let's get to it. Give me a little bit uh, of the inspiration behind why you decided to write this. Well, the idea behind the book is as follows. Midway through um, neurosurgery residency at NYU, I started realizing that the majority of the diseases that we were treating patients for, uh, cancer, degenerative diseases of the spine, really had preventable underpinnings to them. So uh, there were these modifiable, or potentially modifiable risk factors that were associated with diseases such as cancer uh, and uh, say lumbar degenerative disease. So arthritis of the spine, those being insulin resistance or prediabetes uh, in the context of, of cancer obesity, right. lack of exercise in the context of degenerative diseases of the spine. Uh, and we as uh, healthcare providers, uh, in my opinion, we're not doing our job uh, and teaching people just how to not so much treat these diseases after the fact, but go after them prospectively. So that sort of put me on my self-experimentation body hacking quest uh, to attain you know, optimal mm -hmm. uh, health and fitness and that's really what uh, encompasses uh, the pages of Get Serious. And I think what's important about this book, you and I were talking off camera, it's not just how to do a pull up. I mean it's it's not just the physical of working out, it's it's all encompassing, right? It's your mental approach, it's it's you know the sort of you just gotta sweat and you gotta do it and you gotta believe in it, right? That's correct. Uh, health is, is, is not just about working out hard. Uh, it's multi-tiered, the book stresses, nutrition, supplementation, strength training. Um, actually, the appendix of the book uh, delineates um, what I've done for the past uh, 20 plus years, um, what I feel is uh, the optimal way uh, uh, to train, um, namely the three what are called energy systems um, are uh, comprehensively uh, addressed uh, in a period of five days, so a week, with the weekends, the weekends being the off days. Okay. You do need days off. Yep. Um, and the other aspect is stress management, and that's also discussed in the book. Is there one facet that's more important than the others, or are they all sort of on this continuum? You, you kind of need them all. You need them all, you 100%. Need them all. Yeah, that's so if you, if you say, all right, I'm gonna, my New Year's resolution, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, and you hit the treadmill, but then you go home and you eat poorly, and you're super stressed out, and you don't sleep, this is not going to work. Right. Okay, again, it's, it's multi-tiered. You have to address all aspects of health. And it's not just about losing 40 pounds for uh, a certain event. Uh, it's about making that type of lifestyle, your lifestyle, assuming control of your health by addressing the strength training. All right, so, so let me ask you this, and this may sound like a dumb question, but this sounds really hard to do. Maybe it's not, but to someone who's watching at home who's not in the shape you're in, maybe it's overwhelming, it's daunting. Um, what advice do you have for somebody who, who's in, who wants to try this, but now they gotta change their diet, they gotta change their fitness, they gotta be less stressed. I mean, how do you sort of crawl before you can walk? Right, um, I mean, that's a good question. Um, it's really uh, a one thing at a time approach. The first thing that you need to do, whether it's through this book or through other books, Grab a source of good information and educate yourself because from the education comes the execution and don't try to tackle everything at once. Right. However, you still can do these things in parallel, albeit slowly and gradually. If you do things too quickly, exercise too aggressively early when you're not in shape, you will get injured. Okay? And as I've said 15 times in this book, 
It's injury prevention first, get strong second. Not the other way around. Right. We're not 16-year-old men with a, lot of, uh, with a lot of testosterone, go, 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 because all that does is that predisposes one to injury. And are there tips, and again, I've, I saw that there are, but are there tips how to work out correctly so someone doesn't need a trainer? Someone's joining a gym for the first time and they bring your book with them, they're going to be able to know what to do. They will. Um, I would always recommend, even in that context, that somebody has a trainer with them, at least to observe for the first several sessions, just from a safety standpoint. But the book is very, very detailed as far as um, the execution of the various exercises. Even the exercises that are very technical, like the squat and the deadlift, uh, is very, very much uh, detailed uh, in the book. But again, injury prevention first, right. get strong second, and that means um, going into the gym firstly with a trainer. What about the mental aspect of all this? Um, give me some tips on how you can stay sharp mentally. Okay, the best known modality for staying sharp mentally is not doing crossword puzzles. Okay. And not to be redundant, okay? But it's exercise. Physical exercise keeps you sharp mentally. You got it. That's what the data shows. Why? We're not sure. Okay. okay. It's probably a product of blood flow, so augmented, increased blood flow to the brain when you're exercising. Um, but also, there are what are called trophic factors uh, that are released in the brain when we exercise, okay? Similar, but not as great um, as in quantity um, as when we're doing crossword puzzles. So maybe the ideal is to be able to do both of these things at Fa once. Yeah, if you, what if you do a crossword puzzle while exercising? Right. Yeah. More power to you. Bang out a Sudoku. Absolutely. Yeah, on the bike. Absolutely. That's, I've never heard that before. That's yes. fascinating. Yes. Wow. Yet another benefit of, of working out. It makes yeah. you sharper mentally. Absolutely. Uh, was there anything that, that you learned when you were writing this book? Did you have any aha moments? Aside from the fact that writing a book is very, very arduous. <laughs> right. Aside from that. Yeah. Um, I learned, uh, and, I've, and I've realized this about other um, ongoings in my life and things that I've tried to uh, tackle. Uh, the devil is in the detail and you think you know something until you try to write a book or actually explain it uh, to someone. So if there's something that I can get across, as I had alluded to before, two individuals uh, on this quest, learn everything, read everything you possibly can, and then generate some sort of lifestyles um, or uh, training regimen that best suits you, but is all encompassing. So pay very, very, very close attention to the science behind what you're doing. And with all that said, is it fair to then assume after three months of this, I would be able to be a neurosurgeon and look like you in just a couple of months from all of this exercise? That's a safe assumption, right? That is a safe assumption. <laughs> that is not a safe assumption. Right. Uh, so great having you on. Thank you so much. My so pleasure. fascinating. And, and people definitely want to read this. How do they get the book? Uh, it's easy. Um, it's available on my website, which is www drfredosborne.com and it's also available through Amazon and Barnes and Noble websites. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll have you come back in again and, uh, and you know next time you read another one we'll bring you back. Thanks for having me. All right, thanks Doc. Thank you Dr. Osborne. When we come back we'll profile two J's here in South Florida and the great work they're doing with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Stick around. Enough with the fluff, get all the news you need to know on EyeOpener. No matter what's going on in the world, you can find all the latest information right here. Plus, we get you all the headlines three times every hour. That way, you get all the news you need to know, then get on with your day. EyeOpener, a different kind of morning news. EyeOpener, weekday mornings at 6 on SFL TV.